Ja, det är i det solalbumet. My cameraman Ivichan uh, took off uh, his uh, sweater. It's so hot. The room itself is uh, uh, made uh, to raise the air temperature in this room. Now the wall are uh, uh, covered with uh, tin sheets. Uh, behind it, 60 centimeters of uh, thermal insulation as well as uh, the floor. When the air is warmed up, they uh, run away uh, through the chimney. Then we get the lifting power to get the cold air in the basement as the arrow, red arrows show. Now those uh, three pipes in this side, having uh, umbrellas on top, the, uh, the vents goes down 3.2 meters deep, and 10 meters uh, uh, they run to the one wall, one side wall of uh, the basement. Meantime, they exchange the heat, uh, the air, uh, they exchange the heat with, in the ground. And then in summertime, the air uh, uh, becomes colder and stays in the uh, basement. So we have to lift it up to the living space. So this lifting power through uh, of, by this uh, Sora room is uh, does the role. After the sunset, uh, the room doesn't have any energy. So until the sunrise, we want to uh, we wanted to store the heat. So we got to this water containers and uh, storing the heat in the daytime until the sunrise in the water. Why not to use uh, the warm water for the daily use? We started to think. Uh, the connection between uh, tin uh, water, water containers were connected with the copper pipes because of the uh, battery effect. Uh, it started to have a little uh, holes uh, to leak the water. Well, actually, we wanted to lift uh, uh, my side up to face to the sun more directly. And uh, the water is uh, transferred to the cylinder in front of the reflector. Well, it's a bit uh, not well cared. It reflectors are broken. And then after uh, aiming the 30 degrees in the evening uh, uh, of the sun, heating uh, the water in the cylinder, then the water was uh, given to the hot water cylinder below the uh, floor. Then cold water in the hot water cylinder was uh, uh, taken by a circulation pump back to the entrance of the water to the water containers. So they, the water uh, rotated uh, by the circulation pump. So that uh, was the plan to have uh, hot water. So if we raise uh, the uh, other end, uh, my side, uh, higher to face uh, the sun more directly. Uh, now, uh, this is the level uh, of the header tank, or the height of the header tank uh, should be raised. 
Well, uh, the header tank has all, uh, say, uh, a ton of uh, weight, and on the wooden uh, tall uh, tower, uh, it's uh, very dangerous to lift it higher. So I gave it up uh, to have the system uh, in this room. And so. For the storage of the uh, daytime heat, uh, maybe we can have uh, water-filled bottles on the floor. Now, uh, for the winter uh, warms, uh, I changed it a little bit from the original design. Uh, having the ceilings uh, of living room uh, very thermal insulated. So the system itself is not active. Though uh, we can use uh, the solar room. Having the solar panels uh, in the room, in the solar room, I mean, and then having the hot water cylinder as well as in this room. So uh, thermal siphoning in this room would collect a lot of uh, hot water uh, in the hot water cylinder. Then hot water can be taken down with the circulation pump and to the uh, radiators in the living uh, level. So that uh, could be an, an idea. And uh, I got uh, my neighbor, uh, Lars uh, Hagenberg uh, van Goosbeek. Uh, he gave the idea. And uh, uh, the room temperature is uh, varies. High uh, in the ceiling, it's much hotter. In inlet of the air duct can be set close to the ceiling, the hot air can be taken down with a fan and the hot warm water, uh, sorry, warm air is uh, distributed uh, under the uh, ground floor uh, which has uh, 12 uh, ventilation holes and then this circulation of uh, warm air in the daytime, uh, the energy is stored in the walls and the uh, ceilings anyway in the house. So two uh, ways, uh, that's the uh, priorities. Now this is the bonus, I got uh, this space. These heavy stru uh, truss structures are for holding uh, such uh, water containers in the solar room. And now the, it is my study. But of course, uh, in this corner, we have uh, all the uh, PC to record the, all the input outputs from sensors uh, distribu distributed in the house. Um, what kind of sensors we have, you can uh, see uh, at uh, my website. And uh, under the floor, we have uh, a data logger, and uh, the output of the data logger is memory, memoired in the hard disk of the PC. We have a blackboard for discussions. This co this side is uh, the uh, books uh, for my uh, original uh, uh, the major field of acoustics.